In this video, I'll demonstrate how to install PowerShoot Network Shutdown Appliance on a VMware ESXi host that is managed by VMware's vCenter server. Prior to starting this recording, I have downloaded the PowerShoot Network Shutdown Appliance from apc.com. I have also installed the VMware integration plugin into my web browser. To install the appliance, I must first launch my web browser and navigate to the vCenter server. And click Login to vCenter Web Client. Now I'll enter the username and password to access the vCenter client. Once in the vSphere web client, I will select Host and Clusters and open the tree to navigate to the host that I would like to install PowerShoot Network Shutdown Appliance on. I'm going to be installing on 10.218.44.22, so I'll right click and select Deploy OVF Template. In the upper left hand corner, I see a little warning stating that I need to allow access to the client integration plugin, so I'll select Allow to continue. Now I'll click Browse to browse to the location that I've downloaded the OVA to, select it, and click Open. I'll now click Next to continue. I now see a window that says Verify the OVF template details, and I'll click Next to continue. I now to need to accept the licensing agreement and click Next to continue. I'm now asked to specify the name and location for the deployed template. I'll keep the default name of PowerShoot Network Shutdown 4.2 for VMware. And since the host that I want to deploy on, which was 10.218.44.22, is part of the Tech Support Lab, I'll select Tech Support Lab and click Next to continue. I'm now asked to select the location to store the files. My options are NAS Data Store, which is a network share, or Data Store 1, which is a hard drive for the host. I'm going to select the network share and click Next to continue. I'm now asked to configure the network the deployed template should use. I'm going to use the default of IPv4, so I will click Next to continue. I'm now asked to customize the deployment properties. My options are to configure the network. Since I will be using DHCP, as it states here, I'll leave blank if DHCP is desired and click Next to continue. In this window, I'm asked to verify my settings. I'm also given the option to power on the new virtual machine after deployment. I would prefer to power on the virtual machine manually, so I will not select that. However, I will click Finish to continue. I now see that there is an initialization happening, and now my virtual machine is being deployed. I will pause the video while the deployment continues. Now that the deployment has completed, I will navigate to the new virtual machine, right-click, select Power, Power On. Under the Actions heading, I will open the console, see that the PowerShoot virtual machine is being started up. I'm now asked a few questions. If I want to see the current configuration, exit the program, set up a default gateway, host name, DNS, proxy server. I'm just going to click 1 to exit since I'm going to be using DHCP and I do not need to set up any of these other settings. I'm now asked to enter a password for the default user of root. And I need to verify that password. The system will complete the startup. In this window, I'm asked to please complete the PowerShoot Setup Wizard 
to ensure that your VMware hosts and virtual machines are protected. To configure PowerShoot Network Shutdown using the Setup Wizard, browse to https colon slash slash 10.218.45.217 colon 6547. The IP address 10.218.45.217 is the IP address that my DHCP server assigned to this virtual machine. 6547 is a port that PowerShoot communicates on. I will create a video at a later date where I'll run the PowerShoot setup wizard configuring PowerShoot to communicate with vCenter server, VMware host, and virtual machines. To verify that PowerShoot is running, I will log into the virtual machine. The user is root. Enter the password I assigned during the configuration. Then type slash etc slash init dot d slash powershoot with a capital P and a capital C and then status. I now see that powershoot is running. The powershoot files will be found in slash opt slash apc all uppercase slash powershoot with an uppercase p and an uppercase c slash group one. If I list out the contents of the directory, I see all of the PowerShoot files. Here I will find the error log, the event log, which are useful for troubleshooting purposes, and also the pcnsconfig.ini file, which is a text file, which is useful for configuring PowerShoot. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has been helpful.